Before I forget, if you want to know more about uh, our solutions, because in 15 minutes it's impossible to show everything, please scan this QR code. This uh, gives you a, a possibility to book a demonstration, a trial, basically to have uh, a way to test our software with your real data, so ensure that uh, uh, you have this scanned. So who knows about Topodot? Some, some hands. OK, two, three, four. OK, not bad. But well, for the ones that uh, uh, don't know about Topodot, we are a software company uh, developing our tools since 2011. So basically, um, we are a company based in Orlando, Florida. And we have offices in Portugal, in uh, Romania, in Dubai, in China, in France, due to a very specific uh, reason. So we, to, we support our customers 24-7. So this is what this community of more than 6,000 users across 700 companies stay with us and, of course, believe that they can enhance their workflow with our solutions. So what Topodot offers? We, like I said, we offer a software that um, provides you a way to produce the foundations of a digital twin at the lowest possible cost. So what does this mean? It means that everyone is working with LiDAR data, with uh, mobile mapping systems, static scanners, drones. Well, everyone is using point clouds. But either you or your engineers, well, at the end of the workflow, you need to have uh, a workable data for your road, rail, for your engineering project. So no, no one likes to deal with thousands of gigabytes of data, with millions of points. Everyone wants to have the right insights, the right CAD drawings or GIS database for their projects. So what we are offering is basically a way to simplify a point cloud to something workable. Well, in this case, uh, related to the topic of today, into GIS data. So let me give you uh, some, some uh, very brief explanation of the workflow. So you guys are extract, um, capturing the data with systems, like I said, mobile, terrestrial, uh, aerial, and you have point clouds. So it's, this is the par first part of your workflow. The second part is when Topodot starts. So it's when you start a productive process to extract information from point cloud to get something workable. So related to GIS, to get some polylines, to get some points, and to get some polygons in 2D or 3D. So this is the main objective, OK? So having a productive way to extract uh, insightful data from your point cloud. So Topodot offers. Uh, solutions for managing uh, effectively the data to assessing the quality of your point cloud data before even the extraction. And then, of course, you start the extraction in a productive way. And this is part uh, of a productive process w w that leads you uh, to be competitive in the market and basically uh, to provide any kind of GIS, CAD, 3D model deliverable for your customers, OK? So at the end of the, the workflow, well, you can say to your customer, yes, we deliver digital twins. Yes, we deliver 3D models. Yes, we can deliver any geospatial data from LiDAR point clouds. So the focus of our software is mainly in transportation corridors, OK? So if you are here for indoors, sorry, I have bad news for you. You can leave. Just joking. But we mainly focus in outdoors. So this means streets, roadways, railways. So basically, uh, all of these applications you can run for uh, GIS asset inventory, asset management. Basically, as I said, to extract the relevant information for your maintenance and operations, OK? A quick example. You need to maintain uh, a railway. You need to know where are all those traffic signs. 
So basically, you can extract them from LiDAR data and have them in your asset management system, basically for uh, maintenance and a good operation. The same related to roads. You can basically uh, have all your paint marks if you want to, for example, run a maintenance project to check what needs to be repainted or not. And basically, uh, it's endless, the, the ideas that you can have here to use LiDAR point clouds to get GIS information. And not only that, but also, if I, I would like to, OK, great. So not only that, but from the point cloud and the extracted data, you can also do analysis and report insights to your customers. So this means that, imagine, you, um, you are running a project for a municipality, and they need to understand in the road network what needs to be maintained in terms of pavement. So they need to discover where are all those issues and the stresses on the pavement, OK? So this is a tough process to handle with point clouds. But it's a very simple one if you use, for example, the pavement stress analysis, where we'll, you will automatically detect all these distresses and report in a simple GIS format data telling your customers where are those distresses, what is the size of them, and where should they focus on their road maintenance operations. So this is just a quick example of the advanced analysis and reporting documentation that you can also perform to your customers using point clouds and top of that software. So, well, rather than speaking a lot, let's see some examples, OK? And like I said, well, today is to show you a way to optimize the extraction of GIS data with point clouds. So let's see how you can, from point clouds, extract lines, 2D or 3D, how to extract points, 2D or 3D, and how to extract a polygon. Because if you land this data set in a shapefile or geodatabase, for example, in an Azure platform, well, you need this basically for planning, for example. So let's see how to extract the painted stripes. So you have the point clouds, like I said. If you are running a mobile mapping system, you also have the images. So with this tool, you can basically select using the intensity of the data and ask the tool to vectorize for you a 3D polyline related to your paint stripes. So either the continuous ones or the dashed ones, Basically, you get a line from the point cloud with all the information about width, length, etc. And from here, you can tell to your customers, look, you have this amount of paint stripes. If you want to repaint them, well, here's some insights that you can use for maintenance and operations. So a very simple process, like I said, start point, a direction, and that's it, the software vectorized for you automatically. Let's see another line feature example, a guardrail. So you have your guardrail. Everyone knows the shape of one. So you have the curved region. You can create your own templates. And from here, you can inform the software, look, I want to extract from here up to the end of the guardrail. And you see how, what, what's the, the, the dimension. So 2,000 meters of around automatic extraction in less than five seconds. And you have the, the top and the bottom of the guardrail. And this is, well, you are working with the LiDAR data. So this is a very accurate process where you can see those lines automatically placed in there. And while you are surveyors, you are engineers, you are cartographers, so you need to be precise. So quality control is very important in this process. And it's available in every tool. Let's see now a polygon feature example. Especially within uh, urban environments, you don't want to vectorize this manually. 
you want to have your driveways, your ADA ramps automatically available and ready to be placed in the ground using the point cloud data. Of course, not all of them are similar, but you can adjust them. Again, you have a quality control process where all these assets can be basically transformed in a, from a point cloud to a 3D shape ready to be used in a GIS environment. Let's see another uh, really interesting case. For example, how to get the vegetation uh, for many reasons, security, for maintenance, etc. So, well, you have, again, millions of points, but you just need the outline of this area. Okay, so how to get it? Well, it was even faster. So I could even not explain. So you, from, from all this cluster of a vegetation area, you get this line. But look, if you want it in the ground, that's not a problem. The software can do that for you. So you don't need to struggle to vectorize this area, like not seeing it well, etc. So the software can uh, outline this for you in an easy way. So this is uh, uh, a really cool tool. And now let's go, well, speaking about GIS, everyone wants to extract uh, traffic signs, light poles, uh, trees, etc. So in an automatic way, this tool is identifying in the point cloud any vertical element in this case, a sign, a pole, a tree. So it's automatically predicting and giving you as a list, categorize it and sort it by type, where you can just, as a user, click in accept or skip the, well, you skip the ones you don't want to extract and you accept the ones that you want to have in your GIS deliverable. So, well, you, you can understand how tedious is this process. So having a tool that can give all these insights for you in an automated way, well, it's, it's invaluable, right? So, well, what's the purpose uh, of, of Topodot? And why should you have or use Topodot for this type of applications and not uh, any other software? So, simple recap of the workflow. Like I said, you have point clouds acquired by static scanners, by mobile mappers, by drones or air aircrafts, etc. And you need to have a way of simplifying the point cloud to get something workable. I can, I can bet with any one of you that if you ask 10 engineers to get a measurement for example, for a traffic sign, like give me the height of this traffic sign, you ask for 10 different engineers and you'll get 10 different answers because each one of them will measure from bottom to top in different, uh, in different ways. And e even if someone choose 10 centimeters left or right, this will provide different measurements. So you want to work with uh, accurate data with accurate results, and you don't want engineers to spend time, because time is money, you know, and you don't want them to work with heavy data. So you, as experts, as LiDAR experts and GIS ones, you want to simplify their life. So the second part is when you take the point clouds, the images, and you extract what an engineer is asking you. Oh, you want the traffic signs? Okay, I can extract for you. Uh, you want the painter lines or the edge of the road? Okay, I can extract for you. Don't worry, from a point cloud, you'll get a polyline, you'll get a point, you'll get a polygon. So I will simplify your life. And basically, you provide a deliverable. Well, since the topic today is GIS, so you provide a deliverable as an export option from Topodot in Shapefile, in Geodatabase, in KML, but not only. Well, today I had the opportunity to make uh, a different presentation. It was more CAD related. So you can also provide DGN, DWG, or just a single Excel file for any engineer to work with this information. So just before end the presentation, oops. I just wanted to uh, give a last insight 
why, well, I invite you to walk around to see different options and then to stop by Topadot booth and see why Topadot and, well, not any other software. Well, mainly because of this. And uh, I can see some, uh, some faces here, some, some well-known faces from Topadot community. And I think it's the, the reason why they chose Topadot and not other, or any other software. It's due to the, our break-even point. It's due to the productivity. Well, you don't want to walk around and look for software prices. You want to look around and see where you can find um, the, the most productive process. Forget about the software prices. Even as we are not the most expensive, we are not the, the cheapest one, but you need to think about how long a technician will work with point clouds to get a deliverable. Because, well, if you have a very cheap software, but the engineer will take two months to get a deliverable, well, just go for another option that makes an engineer work just two days to get a deliverable. So this is why you should think about investing in productivity, because, well, as any company or as any governmental agency, we need to save time because time is money. It's our public money or is our private money, and we need to be efficient. So it's why investing in productivity, you can lead any project to high profits. You can lead any company to high returns. So I can say that it's, this is why you should look for Topodot. And for that reason, again, I invite you to scan this QR code, get your demo. We demo with existing, your existing data, with your real data. Videos are great, but for you to really assess a software, Put your hands on it, work with your, uh, your past projects, and just assess the quality of the work.